Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Time for another crack at beating the Russian S400 SAM site, a full network of them. I said last time that that would be our last attempt, but someone's come up with a new idea that I think we've just got to try. Warning, at this point, if you are a squeamish or sensitive watcher, this video is probably not for you. For the rest of you, let's quickly revise what we've tried so far. First, American bombers throughout the ages. Then, a fully coordinated USAF strike. Then, World War I, World War II or 5th Gen stealth aircraft. Then, a Swedish SEAD attack and a Star Wars attack. Then, Kinjal hypersonic missiles. Then, a fully time on target US Navy attack. Then, HIMARS, MLRS, APCs, IFEs, artillery and special forces. And finally, Pakistan tossing nuclear bombs. About 10% of the things we've tried so far have worked, and today is a bit of a curveball, as suggested by Neil Rowley. Reference how to beat an S400 SAM site. Have you tried using a neutral or enemy large plane slash airliner as cover to insert a strike package? So maybe a scenario would be that the Blue 4 aircraft would fly in very close to a civilian airliner, the S-400 site would be reluctant to fire and bring down the airliner, or maybe the S-400 couldn't even see the smaller jets if close enough to the airliner. I'm sure the Iranians did this maybe in the 1980s to attack a US ship. The US ship couldn't fire as it either A couldn't see the radar signature of the attack aircraft due to the airliner, or B, was reluctant to fire in case it hit the airliner. So there are two things to test here. Can we hide behind a large neutral coalition airliner? Will we be hidden in its radar shadow? Is it modelled in our sim? In real life it would be, obviously, if we hid perfectly. And then, is it sensitive enough to not fire at the civilian aircraft in case it brought the civilian down? Well, let's go and find out. So our setup is very simple. We have two A380s of civilian or neutral coalition, so they will not be attacked by the Reds. And they are British Airways, because I know British have a sense of humour and won't be too upset by this. There is the first one here for the F-16s to fly with. There is this one here a few minutes later for the Bogs to fly with. We will be flying F-16s and Bogs. The F-16s will be SEAD loadout flying with the first A380. We've chose A380 because it's the biggest one. F-16s are full SEAD loadout with HARM targeting system. And the F-18s will be flying SEAD loadout with HARMs with the second A380. We will try and hide behind the A380s as close as we can get to the S400 and then we'll try shooting it with our HARMs. A quick reminder of the networked S400 site. There are six battalions, one, two, three, four, five linked, and six here is independent. Each battalion has multiple close range guardians, including Panzer, Tor, and Strela SAM systems. And finally, there are several satellite sites 15 miles out, which are SA 22 Panzer sites. All in all, it's pretty much impenetrable. We have not tried this because we don't actually want to know until we try it whether it works or not. We don't like scripting anything. Guys, any predictions how or if this will work at all? The real words, the bad guys would just shoot the airliner down. Huh. Because it depends who the bad guys are, right? I guess. Russia. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, convinced Russia. that this is at this yeah, model. Russia I think you're going to pick this up. Do right. you need to say just a heads up? Yes, I've Violet. never used harms before. Brilliant time to start. And welcome in, humanoids. Okay. We'll wait for our A380. Okay, here she comes. She's a few minutes out. That's a very impressive aeroplane, guys. How does that fly? Also, his wings are very swept, you know. They're like 30 degrees back or more. Yeah, that makes a problem when they're taxing. Oof. Uh, that's a beautiful sight going from the backside there. I've genuinely not tried this before, at least not in this configuration, so this is going to be interesting. Also, we've never had such a big plane in DCS before. We've got a genuine good hope of hiding an F-16. Right, Simba, look behind you and prepare your plane. So. Hey, Cap, do you think this skin is stealthy enough? Um, it's not that stealthy, is it? Right, this is the F-16s only. Box, yours one comes in a minute. Go 
rotating. Okay, F-16, silence your radiation, top left, eyebrow. Is it to silent, Simba? Yes. Roger. Right, just while we're catching up, start to set up your gear. Uh, I am at, at a ground mode. Power on the missiles. My hat won't turn on, Simba. I've turned the power switches on for the stations. Have we definitely got a had. Did uh, you stop the HGS part? Yeah. Let's get a power up. Roger. All right, I'll give it a minute. Right. Uh, mine's on. Careful not to fly in front of the, the bird, you'll scare it. Oh, yeah, mine's on now, too. Sorry. Right, Valley viewers. Uh, we're just trying to find out how fast this guy goes. Extremely slowly, by the looks of it. Which is a problem for F-16s. This is a problem for real F-16s monitoring uh, slow flying traffic like light aircraft. F-16s do not fly slowly. What have you got to speed at, guys? 265. Jesus Christ. F-16 not happy. Not one bit. We're starting about 170 miles out from the SAM site and we've removed its longest range missiles. I'm a bit fed up with playing with the S-400 with its longest range missiles because they go 400 kilometers, 250 miles. Gets a little bit boring quite quickly. A380's here. And the Hornet's ready to move in three, two, one, and start rolling. It gets quite slow quite quickly, FYI, when he starts climbing. Raj. He's a big... Oh, you know, I, I left him full weight, that's why. Whoops. This is a silly cat. Anyone know what those little things are on the end of his wing? It's got little vertical bits. The vortex generators to help with... Uh, reduces drag. Yeah, reduces drag. Well, at the very end, those end bits... Yeah, they're uh, winglets, they reduce the wing vortices. Alright. I don't really get it, but alright. Turn with them. You see the edge of the S400 is limit on your HSD. I've given it the 150 mile missiles, so that is a 150 mile range ring right there. Which is still pretty make far. Make sure Hornets have uh, your radars off as well. Alright, somebody's gonna have to walk me that. You got a knob on the right, In, haven't you? Yeah, b bottom right, you see a little sensor thing, the one that says radar, just switch it to standby. You can have RWR on. You can it have just it on. receives. Yeah, 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 just don't have your ECM on just yet. It should already be inside receive. I was horrible feeling, guys, that I've set this guy to 200 knots, which would be a typical thing I do. Uh, in which case, it's going to be a very long flight. Very uncomfortable for these planes. Because I know they can climb faster than this. Top to go to. 36. I thought I said it was 600 knots. I'm almost certain I did, but 
it may be when I change its coalition, it upset it, things like, it does things like that. So it may be an almost impossible flight. So we're already down to 200, 220 IAS. And then set it to target of opportunity, and then if a S400 decides to lock you up, you can shoot back at it. Bones. Oh! I've got oh. arms selected, I've got target of opportunity selected. Those poor passengers. That's it? Mm hmm. I only like TOO because it allows you to uh, select which one you want to fire on. Well, the SP mode will too if you use the uh, rate switch. Yeah, Boggs, just try to form up on me, not the actual aircraft, because I'm I'm pretty inside of its tail right now. What's your uh, speed? 229. Copy. No missiles out oh. yet. Going to be your SCS depress switch. So make your harm targeting page your SOI, and then whatever thing, whatever key bind you have for SCS depress is how you're going to switch targets with it. Uh, and then you I don't have a lot of key binds bound due to my hotas only having eight actual buttons. I would just not worry about firing the harms at this point. Yeah, it's more about the revival. <laughs> yep. Yeah, just focus on staying with me then. Down to 220, this thing's slowing down. Yeah, F-16s are really struggling now. Try to follow that turn. That turn's where it's gonna get you. Pull out with it. Where's our angle of attack meter, Simba? Uh, left of the ADI in the middle, or... Yeah. We're holding around 9 to 10 degrees of AOA. Oof. He's, he's speeding up now, he's at 250. Oh, he is speeding up, look at that. I knew I set him right. It does speed up Hornets, it just takes a little while, as you know. Thank God, because Roger. I thought I was going to fall out of the sky. Hornet's liking the speed. Yeah, but Hornet's are stupid. She feels nice and smooth. Burned through half my gas already. F-16 not liking this. 260, yeah, we're getting there, guys. Thank goodness. She's starting to fly again. Angle of attack, six degrees. It'd be funny if the AI have grown a conscience. They don't want to attack civilian airliners anymore. They're different. Roger. Now, bearing in mind the SAM site is slightly elevated downwards, I'm going to be elevated slightly above the plane. So I'm in its effective shadow, if that makes sense. Bogs level? At this point, valued viewers, I should say these planes are full of 500 robot eunuch cows. Yes, I said it. Robot eunuch cows, so no one can get upset, no one can be offended chronically. It's just a set of 500 robot eunuch cows. Then technically, uh, technically the enemy should see me as a friend. Ah, uh, there you go. Cap. Yeah. I'm uh, a fan of Chick Fil A, and they have cows to see eat more chicken. Oh, so you're chronically offended? You're saying, brilliant. Brilliant, Simba. Just saying. 
Yeah, I'm also quite upset about this development. Yeah, I know, Ashley, you're completely right, guys. Okay, how about this full of 500 wet cardboard boxes? Is that gonna hurt anyone? I know Solid Snake really likes boxes, and I really like him, so. Right, that's also a problem, I see. Guys, the rings have gone red on my HSD, which means we are in threat, threat, threat. S400. Good news is she's now flying at 300 knots, which is right within our comfort range. No missiles out, and I'm not picking up any radiation. Well, I'm assuming S400 still works. All right, Boggs, if you know how to do it, drop your center line bag. I did that a while back. <laughs> <laughs> And what would they actually see on their radar value viewers? Would it be one blip or four blips? I think it would be one blip. I mean, bearing in mind we're flying 20 feet away from it. I don't think a radar could pick up the difference. Personally. I mean, I'm a pretty big blip. Well, that's a Simba problem. That's a Simba lack of diet problem. No missiles out yet, guys. That means keto. We're well within the 150 mile range. I really want to press F3, but it's a very dangerous thing to do when you're this close. Uh, altitude hold? I uh, tried it, it doesn't really hold, if you've noticed. It kind of like moves uh, up and down quite a lot. Nope, mine's doing fine. Well, I might. I think you have a uh, MiG-29 uh, PTSD. PTSD from yesterday. Mm -hmm. He might, he might. That was pretty brutal. Yep, yes, it was. Poor old Grump. He did try, didn't he? If I fire my harms from this position, Will they avoid the Airbus? Well, Nails. Oh, getting I'm spiked. Getting locked. Spiked. Bogs are spiked. Missiles are out. Uh oh. Growlers. You crazy Russian bastards, what have you done? Right. Now here's the problem, buddy. Yeah, that's viewers. gonna come from above, so I'm getting underneath. It's the first question answered. Okay, well they fire. Shit, where's the button to turn the fucking... There it is. Right, I'm tucking right up, guys. Now here's the next problem. Even if they're targeting us, not the airliner, the proximity fuse will be set off by whichever vehicle it passes first. So if that proxy fuse gets set off by the A380, which it will, then we all go down. And that's a 300 pound warhead on that missile, by the way. Well, I'm worried. Well, we're going down with the mothership, guys. Snuggle up nice and tight. I could practically kiss this thing's fuselage. Mm -hmm. It turns out in DTS, the S-400 does work as advertised. Do I get bonus points if I put my PDAP probe in the EPU exhaust? Eh, why not? Is that the one at the back? Yes. I don't think you're gonna get a chance, Simba. I'm not gonna lie. I'm watching these little beauties come in now, and I don't think we're going to be going much further in this mission. All right, Boggs, turn on your ECM. Just try to jam oh, them out. Oh dear. Right, I'm getting suck in nice and tight now. Protect me. Maybe they'll think it's the airliner jamming them. Maybe. Did somebody turn their jammer on? I don't know. Because it has come on jam. That's a problem. Right in its shadow now, where that missile is. From a oh, my face! My beautiful, beautiful face! Did anyone survive? Uh, no. <laughs> we are all we are falling in sync. Wow, one of those boxes is really close. Who's that? The killer, I think. It's your best bet. That is a nice flying. Look at that value, viewers. Now we're gonna have to watch the replay just to see what it actually hit. Killer, I'm gonna try to put my nose between your stabilizers. Okay. Good luck. I'll get a little lower to give you some more room. Well, you're definitely in the radar shadow. 
one thing we've learned is S400 does not like Munich cows. It does not like Munich cows, does it? Or soggy cardboard boxes. Not really. Who does though, guys? They're literally good for nothing. Oh, this can only end well. Sarcasm, by the way, guys. Who didn't know? I'm sure you did know it was sarcasm. Right, My I'm hands gonna... are targeting something. I would advise not You are way out of range. Concentrate on flying the planes, guys. Uh-oh. 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 You see that one, Simba? You see that? Ooh. 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 That's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Well, they're certainly hugging nice and close, guys. Is it going to help them? Oh dear. Oh dear me. Um. Oh! No! <laughs> it's such a big freaking warhead. Look at that. It did. Everything uh, got <laughs> it killer. That was freaking awesome. So it did hit the first uh, blue guy. Yep. But the problem is, well, the problem is, to be honest, the warhead's just so big, it atomized everything. Everything around there was dead. Wowee, and that's an A380. It just turned into dust. <sighs> 300 pound warheads suck. I didn't look behind me at all. Was fired head right behind me? Yeah, you guys were hugging. Seriously hugging. Yeah, it was uh, you. Bush, Bush was right there behind you. You couldn't have done any better. Um, one thing I did notice there, remember yeah. that that's Fox, it's a Fox 3 missile. It has its own radar on board. And what it actually did, guys, is it went above you and went vertically down so there is no way you can really hide in the shadow of that plane anyway because it was looking down at you so no you cannot hide behind a liner and it will shoot where liners are going to be shot it knew that that liner was going to be killed and it did it anyway moral of the story ai has no soul any other feedback from my guys i'm gonna oh, miss those cows otherwise it was fun to try Good attitude. That's probably it with the S400 now. We'll see you later. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.